What is up you guys, Alan here again from the Smart Money Tactics channel and on this video today I want to show you how you can make money on YouTube without ever showing your face, potentially using a camera and I want to show you how you can do all this by getting someone else to do majority of the work for yourself. I'm going to show you two channels that you can start and take a look at this one of the channels i'm going to show you doesn't do any work themselves and they're making as much as thirteen thousand six hundred dollars a month using this strategy and another channel i'm going to show you is making as much as thirty thousand dollars every single month and i'm going to walk you through this strategy step by step and I want to show you everything but you need to make sure that you watch this entire tutorial because I'm going to show you how they do it and if you miss any of the steps then you're not going to know how to do this and you can't put all this together. I'm going to show you so many ways that you can do this. It's going to blow your mind how much money you can make on YouTube by doing this in 2023 if you start this today and absolutely crush it. Now before we get into this video, if you're not subscribed to the Smart Money Tactics channel, do that right now because I'm going to be dropping some more amazing videos to help you make money online and if you get value out of this video don't forget to hit that like button in appreciation so what we're going to be looking at today one of the niches or one of the channels i'm going to show you how people put this together is showing people different types of roller coaster rides and you're probably thinking alan I don't go on roller coasters. I don't like roller coasters. My city doesn't have roller coasters. Well, believe it or not, you don't actually need to have them. I'm going to show you how you can get other people to do this for you and you can upload the footage. And I mean, take a look at how many views these videos get. I mean, look at this 4.4 million views, 10 million views. You can see here 2.2 million views, 58 million views. This niche is blowing up. It continues to get a lot of views. Let me show you one in particular channel that does this. It's called Theme Park review and I mean take a look at this one of the videos has had over 273 million views and when you take a look at their most recently uploaded videos you can see here that just a couple of weeks ago 30,000 views 135,000 views 100,000 views so people are extremely interested in these different types of videos and I'm going to show you how many people are searching for this and how easy it is to make these different types of videos and you can see here that a lot of the videos that get a lot of views don't don't even need to be that long. Most of their videos are three minutes, two minutes, one minute, five minutes. Take a look at this, six minutes, three minutes. There are some that are a little bit longer. And the good thing about this niche is you can potentially even do this without even getting somebody to film the footage. I'll show you where you can actually get the footage as well. And you can see when you come over here and type in roller coasters onto YouTube, there are a variety of different channels to do this. But because of how much volume and how much people are searching for this, this niche is not saturated. Let me show you what I mean. If I come over to vidIQ, which is a software where you can take a look at how many people are searching for things and you type in something like roller coaster, you can see that roller coaster on YouTube is searched 429,000 times every single month you can see he roller coaster pov 61000 minecraft roller coaster you can see he fastest roller coaster in the world 30000 times then what people start doing is they start searching for specific roller coasters like next roller coaster 17000 etc if you scroll down you can see planet coaster tallest roller coaster so there's specific ones that people are searching for as well they get tens of thousands of views and what that means for you is that you can continue to get a lot of views and make money on YouTube. You can even do this and turn it into YouTube Shorts. We all know that YouTube Shorts are going to be monetized in 2023 as long as you get 10 million views in a 90-day period and you hit your 1,000 subscribers, you can start to monetize your YouTube Shorts. But to monetize your standard long-form content videos, you need to hit 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to get into the YouTube Partner Program. But when you're looking at this many views, guys, you can very easily hit these different types of metrics. Now, I'm going to show you how to put all this together towards the end of this video, but I want to show you the second channel that you can do, and this is even easier. And the second channel involves using people or getting people to walk around different types of cities and you can actually do it yourself if you scroll down here you can see that there's a lot of people creating these walk tour type of videos and these videos 
get tens of thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of views, and in fact, millions of views where people want to see different types of cities before they travel. They want to take a look at different types of attractions and what they can do, but some people just do it for a form of relaxation and take a look at cities that they may potentially never visit, or if they want to take a look at different types of cities that they're going to visit in the future. You can even do this with rainforests, you can do it with parks, etc., and you can literally see that there's people getting tens of thousands of views and I'll show you how you can literally do this without you doing any of the work and here's a channel over here called Pro Walk Tours and when you scroll down you can see that this person potentially lives in Europe and they're visiting different types of you can see they've taken videos in Venice when you scroll down you can see they've done it in Split in Croatia they've done it in Lisbon in Portugal and you can scroll down and you can literally see all the different types of videos that they're creating now these videos are a little bit longer so all they're doing is taking footage by just walking around. I've clicked onto a lot of these videos. At the start, they may have a little bit of music, but then as you keep watching these videos, you're gonna see that it's just the noise that the camera picks up as they're walking around. And you can see if we go to popular, these videos are getting 5.6 million views a year ago, 4.4 million, 3.8 million. And you can just imagine with everything opening up right now, these videos are gonna start to get even more views. So if we come over to recently uploaded, if I click onto any one of these videos, let me just click onto this one over here. And you can see that all these videos are monetized. So I'm just gonna skip this video. I'm gonna pause this and you can see, like I said, they've got music at the start. They show some of the scenery. Now, if you move over to this part of the video, and if I hit play, at the moment, they're on like a rowing boat, but a lot of these are obviously people walking around. This one they've decided to do in a boat. Obviously, they're in Venice, so this is what they've decided to do. But if we take a look at another video, let me just click onto one more. So if we scroll down and click onto this one as an example, you can see here, I'm just gonna get rid of the sound. If we move up, that they're just walking around. And what you're going to be able to hear is just the background noise of the video. So no one is actually using their own voice. This person never shows their face. And as you can see, these videos get tens of thousands of views. And when you come over here and you type in walking around or pro walk tours, there's a few channels that are doing this. But again, these aren't saturated niches because of the amount of searches people are searching for this stuff. So if, again, if you come over to vidIQ, and you type in something like walking around and you click on to matching items or you just have a look over here, you can see that walking tour is searched 336,000 times every single month. And from there, what you can do is you can type in, for example, Paris and search for walk walking around or walking tour. You can see Paris walk around is searched 25,000 times. So then you can type in, for example, just like you saw the other one, Lisbon or Split or Sydney, whatever you want, and have a look and you're gonna see that they're all getting a lot of searches. But I know what you're still wondering, Alan, how am I gonna do this if I don't live in any of these countries? So I'm gonna show you with that in a second. But before I do, like I said, if you're enjoying this video, go down the bottom and make sure you smash that like button in appreciation. And what I want you to do for me is just comment. Let me know if you can visit any city in the world right now, what city would you visit? And what I'll do is I'll pick a comment and I'll give them a copy of my Jet Video Academy course absolutely for free for commenting. I'll pick the best comment and I'll give that away. What I'll do is I'll reply back to you in the comment, get your information and I'll get that out to you as well. So as you can see guys, when it comes to these walking around type videos, there is a lot of opportunity. So let's put all this together. There's a few ways that you can do this. Number one, if you don't wanna create these videos yourself, how are you going? to do it if you don't want to even pay someone else to do it how are you going to do it i'm going to show you everything let's put all this together so the first thing that you potentially may need is to get this software called vid iq so if you come over you guys you can see here that you can get this extension if i click onto this extension you can download this and what this is going to show you is exactly what other people are using in their tags let me show you exactly what i mean if you click onto any one of these videos so i'm just going to pause this video you can see i've got this extension over here and what this shows shows me when I scroll down is what tags people are using inside these videos. This potentially can help these videos rank, but it's also gonna give me a lot of information about how much views these particular videos are getting. So I wanna replicate a video, how many views these videos are getting per hour. So you can get all that information as well. So it's a really cool tool to have. So it's something that you can get and download this extension for free. If you want to do a little bit more keyword research, like I showed you over here in these videos, then you may need to obviously sign up to this 
and pay for the subscription. But when you first start off, what I recommend that you do so it doesn't cost you a lot of money is quite simply just take a look at what the different types of videos that other people are making and take a look at the channels and see which videos are blowing up at the moment and maybe start with those videos. So the first thing that you may want to get is download this extension. From there, what you need to do, if you wanted to pay someone to go around on these walking tours, if you wanted to pay someone to go on these different types of roller coasters, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. One of the ways you can do it is you could literally go over to places like Fiverr and you can put up these, or you can look for people that can do this for you. So a lot of the times, if you look, for example, for a personal assistant, or if you're looking for a one-off job, you can literally search for that on Fiverr and pay people in their cities to go on these walking tours or to take these different types of a roller coaster ride. So that's one place that you can do it. And people will generally walk around for twenty to thirty dollars for an hour and take some footage, send it over to you, or jump on a roller coaster if they're going on there. But I'll show you how to find it an even quicker way to get people for the roller coasters as well. So you can do this on Fiverr, exact same thing you can do on Upwork as well, guys. And there's other platforms like this called ZipRecruiter where you can recruit people to do this. And even on platforms like People Per Hour where you can just put in jobs and then people can come over there and then take those jobs, go and do it for you and they'll come back and they'll give you the footage. The other thing that you can do that works really, really well is you can go to places like Facebook, for example. You can type in groups, go to roller coasters, and I mean, take a look at this. There are roller coaster enthusiasts that go on these roller coasters all the time. Now, number one, they probably have footage. You can pay for that footage, ask them for that footage, or get the, uh, just ask people if they're going on any particular roller coasters to take some footage for you, and you'll pay them twenty to thirty dollars for that footage. They're going already. They'll give you that footage, so you don't need to do any of the work yourself. And then when you're putting these videos together, whether it be the walking tour or the roller coasters, for example, you want to make it a little bit more informative so that people watch. So when you're showing a roller coaster ride, you can tell them the length of the ride, the height of the ride, the cost of it, any other requirements that they might have, how fast it goes, etc., how old you have to be, where the location of that roller coaster is. So it's all really cool information that people would like to engage with as they're watching those videos. So you can make it a little bit better than what you're currently seeing on YouTube. So quite simply, guys, all you need to do is come over to any one of these groups, click onto one of these groups, guys, and just put up a post and find out what roller coasters people are going on. And then you can quite simply just say, look, if you're going on there, you can see here some people already have footage. You could probably message this person and ask them if you could use this footage and pay them for that footage. Okay, so you're going to find, number one, you're going to find a lot of footage and you can also ask people to obviously borrow it, pay them for it, etc. Or if they're going on there to create the footage for you exclusively. So using Facebook groups is an awesome way to do this if you type in roller coaster. And again, when it comes to travel, guys, there are a lot of people over here that are posting a lot of stuff when it comes to travel you know, traveling to different parts of the world, you can very easily ask them if they're going to go walking around, can they take some footage for you and pay them for it if you don't want to do it yourself. So this is one of the best ways that you can do this. Another way that you can do this is if you wanted to use stock footage, you can very easily come over to places like Storyblocks. As an example, if you type in roller coaster, you're going to find these royalty free types of images and videos that you can use. And then what you can do is you can put together the information about these different types of roller coasters. You can search up information on specific roller coasters online. And then all you need to do is maybe use stock footage and talk about a particular roller coaster. And again, let them know the location of the roller coaster, how much it costs to ride it, how fast it is, how tall it is, etc. All relevant information that people want to know. And then you can quite simply put all this together using these different types of images and videos, you would need to sign up to Storyblocks and maybe pick the cheapest subscription on Storyblocks so that you can start these videos so it doesn't cost you a lot of money. And again, you can very easily type this as well. For example, if you type in Paris Tour, as you scroll down, you're going to find people walking around Paris exactly the same way as what you saw on these different types of videos. As you can see, there are people walking around and then what you can do is quite simply maybe do something that a tour guide would do and just let people know exactly the different types of attractions they should visit, the best time of the year to go, how much it costs to go to certain places, entries, museums, etc. People absolutely love this stuff and you could be creating you know, very simple videos in a matter of time. So it's not going to take you a lot of time to create these different types of videos. So if you were to get 
all this footage? How would you put this together and edit it so it doesn't cost you too much or you don't need any sort of fancy editing software? Well, one software that you can use, guys, it's absolutely for free, which will be more than enough for what you want to do with these videos is to download this software called openshot.org. It's simple and it's absolutely for free, so it's not going to cost you anything to get started once you get this footage back and as you can see all you need to do is import the file and then you can cut it up and just upload it straight to YouTube but you saw that some of these videos that people are putting up at the start they've got music as well now if you want to get royalty free music all you need to do is come straight over to YouTube your own YouTube studio library and when you scroll down you can click onto audio library come over here guys you got your audio library and as you can see all you need to do is type in something like ambient okay so just come over here and type in for example ambient or upbeat okay so hit ambient hit enter and then as you can see you're gonna see all these different types of tracks that you can use without any issues of copyright you're not gonna get into any trouble and if I play this very quickly You can see that that sounds pretty cool if that's the start of one of your walking tours, etc. But like you saw, a lot of the people upload these videos and they don't have any music. That just people walking around and they're still getting tens of thousands of views. So this is how you would get the sound or any sort of music on there. Now, if you needed to create a thumbnail, guys, very simply, what you will do is come straight over to a platform like canva.com. Inside the search section over here, you can quite simply just type in thumbnail. Once you type in thumbnail, it's gonna bring you over to a page that looks like this. I mean, take a look at this. You got all these different examples of thumbnails that you can use. What I did very quickly is I just clicked onto this thumbnail. So if I click onto this, what I did from there is I deleted this guy. I got rid of him. I removed this attractive. I left one of these arrows, so I'm just going to delete this arrow. I'm going to move this over to the top to show you how I did this. I came straight over to here and I typed in roller coaster. Okay, so I'll show you how quickly you can create a thumbnail. Click onto roller coaster over here, guys. Scroll down, you're going to find images of people on roller coasters like this one over here as an example. So what I did is I just moved this to the front. Okay, so right mouse click on the writing and I went to, so this one's already at the front. So if you wanna move this black background over here and just go to bring to front. Okay, so move this there. Then all I did is I stretched this out. So I'll show you how this works. Okay, move that, bring this to front now, this writing, bring to front over here, okay. And then all you can need to do is move this over to the side, move that over to the side like this. And then all you need to do is change the writing. And this is was this is what I basically created. So roller coaster terror. You can see that people will definitely click onto this thumbnail because it shows somebody screaming, somebody excited, roller coaster terror. And then your thumbnail can be world's scariest roller coasters, something like that. You can play around with the thumbnails and test what works. But this is how you would essentially create a thumbnail for this. For the walking tours, guys, you probably saw that people were just using screenshots of different types of places. And that's it. They weren't even putting any sort of text overlay. And these different types of channels, like I told you, are literally making thousands of dollars every single month. And they're very, very simple to create. And like I said, all you need to do is find somebody that's happy enough to go and give you this footage or that's happy enough to go and take this footage for you. And I guarantee you that this is exactly what these people are doing and they're making a lot of money on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, like I said, don't forget to smash that like button in appreciation, but don't go anywhere because if creating YouTube videos or doing anything when it comes to YouTube is not your thing and you want something different, then I highly recommend that you click onto this video over here right now. It's a really easy way to make money online with affiliate marketing and you can literally get started straight after watching that video. So I'll see you on that video. Until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and goodbye.